Hello and welcome back to our driver career mode in F1 2021. We're back, we're off to France now, taking some new components, a new MGUH, new MGUK, new energy store. So we're going to be taking a penalty for this race, that's for sure. Uh, actually, no, we won't because we're early in the season, so it's okay. Never mind. Uh, we're all good. But we are heading into another wet race. So uh, let's get into qualifying. Here we are then, approaching the final corner on our outlap, and we are going to go for a flyer in Q1, see what we can do here around Paul Ricard. Off we go then. Currently last, because we haven't set a time yet. Straight up to P5, apparently. Interesting. Looking pretty good then, as we come to the last corner on our flying lap. And towards the line... What's this going to do for us? A little sloppy around there. That's good enough for P2. Perfect. Our teammate Lando in 8th. Max Verstappen 1st and Bottas in 3rd as we head into the second qualifying session. Round the last corner. And the sprint to the line. Put in the fastest lap. Good job. Fastest lap puts us in P1 as we head into the final round of qualifying. Lando up to P6. That's a good sign. And this is what our final lap is going to be. Currently in 10th. Not set a time yet. As we sprint towards the finish line. What's it going to be? P8. Busy track here, not ideal. We're attempting to go again, but I don't know if it's going to work out. As we approach the traffic. Doing what we can, but yeah, I don't, I don't see this working out, I really don't. Could be wrong though. Currently a tenth down. Signs just about gets out of the way. There we go. We set the fastest second sector. Verstappen does not get out of the way. He looked like he was going to, so we committed. And then he just didn't, and that's just ruined... Ruined and with our qualifying Q3. complete, let's review our top three today. Hamilton, Bottas and Sergio Perez. Goodbye for now then, but we're really just getting started. Make sure to join us again for Lights Out tomorrow. Great work out there today. Was it? Let's have your thoughts. Who would you say is your biggest rival at the moment? Interesting. What's your teammate's secret to success today? Yeah, they just didn't crash. Appreciate your time. Yeah, thanks, mate. <sighs> Welcome to the circuit. Let's go racing. Current home of the French Grand Prix, an event dating all the way back to 1906. It's been held at many venues over the years, with famous moments from Dijon and Manicor, the feature of many a highlights reel. And let's hope we see more of those in the race today. We have 15 corners here at the circuit, Paul Ricard, six to the left and nine to the right. The rain is coming down and making for a slippery racing surface, but luckily there is plenty of runoff available and hopefully we'll be able to avoid bringing out a safety car during today's Grand Prix. Anthony Davidson is alongside me today, nice and dry up here in the commentary box. Uh, but how are you, Ant? Looking forward to the race? I'm very well, thank you, Crofty. Forgot my umbrella on the way up to the box. I'm a little bit soggy, but I'll dry out soon enough. It's going to be an interesting race in this weather. Obviously, your strategy changes completely once it starts raining, as overtaking is a lot easier in the wet. The focus moves away from pure aerodynamic efficiency and tyre management, and of course the driver themselves can always make more of a difference in these conditions than in the dry. 
Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Moving on to the rest of the grid, we have Perez, Verstappen, Lando Norris, and Sainz, Leclerc, Power, Gasly, and Sebastian Vettel, Fernando Alonso, Sonoda, Esteban Ocon and Stroll, Jovanadze, Raikkonen, Nicholas Latifi and George Russell, Mick Schumacher and Nikita Mazepin. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. Now that we've got some points on the board, let's continue this form and aim for another top 10 finish. Alrighty, starting in P8, which is... It's not bad, considering. As we wait for the five red lights to go out. And we are underway for the French Grand Prix. Good start. Sort of. It, was, okay, it started well. Somewhere on the ICE. Be aware that we will start to see a loss of power. Bad news already from Jeff, as Gasly attempts to go up the inside. It didn't quite work out for him. We're absolutely extending it though. Up into P7 already. Norris. Oh, got past Norris. Bonked wheels with signs, but looks like we might make it stick. That'll do then. As we go up into P5 in the first couple of corners. We take those. Let's have another look at that start then. We started in, in uh, eighth. It was a pretty solid start, honestly, especially for the wet. I've uh, been practicing a bit in the wet since since Baku. We've been doing a much, much better job. Very aggressive dive down there. Maybe too aggressive. Probably didn't need to be making contact there, but hey-ho. As we chase down Perez then. Is this a move? I'm not sure. It looks like it's going to... Oh my goodness. And we did it. We're in there. P4. Nice. Go fastest in sector 2. We're good through sector 2. I don't know what it is through there, but we seem to... We seem to have that that portion of the track sorted and uh, on to the second lap then. And we're going to chase after Max Verstappen for that third place, see if we can get ourselves into the podium place. This is a bit far ahead though, but we have gone fastest in sector one, so we might catch him later on. Teammate, not that far behind, just behind Perez. On to lap three then, chasing down Verstappen. Currently sitting in P4, which is uh, not bad. We just go fastest in sector one, so we take that, especially in the wet. The track will be drying out quite soon. Mind you, don't burn out your tyres. Thanks, Jeff. And Ocon is out. Green flag. The virtual safety car has been deployed. Slow down and maintain a positive delta. So we've got a virtual safety car. In a high level of debris on the track. Potentially good for us. Uh, wonder if we'll box. Wonder if the virtual safety car will actually last that long that we can box. I'm, I'm not sure. You never know. Don't know how bad this is going to be, but we'll see. Entirely sure what's wrong engine wise, but you can see we in the bottom right corner we've got okay, something slow up. Slow down, slow down. Your delta is negative, which means you are too fast. Reduce your pace. Fingers crossed that we can get to the end of this race. We shall see. It looks like the race leader. 
coming in. All three of the race leaders coming in. Oh my, a lot of people coming in. We've got Bottas, Hamilton, Verstappen, Perez, all coming in. Well, we're staying out, so does Norris. So, looks like the Ferraris may have gone in as well. This will be interesting then. So we're currently leading the race. We will have to pit. Oh, a bit of a moment there. We will have to pit. We're battling our teammate <laughs> in the rain. And he... Well, we just went super wide there. But... Wow, wait, this, is a, this is a turn of events. The track seems to be drying up a lot. Which is probably why we're all over the place like this. But we're going for the move into the chicane. Because why not? And we get it done. Pitting this lap then. Come into the pits at the end of this lap. Here we go then. Boxing into this lap. We go super wide there on the pit entry. Surprised we didn't get penalised for that. And Norris follows us in. So we're double stacking for absolutely no reason. Norris has just cost himself so much time as he just has to watch us have our pit stop. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. And we're out on the mediums into P6. So we've lost some positions here down into P7. We've lost some positions from that, which is not ideal. We've probably, we probably misjudged it. There's a reason why all the it's leaders came in. on track resulting in loose debris. Fortunately, the marshals have managed to clear it up in time, and there are no plans for a safety car right now. Ooh, what happened there? Not sure what's happened. Oh my goodness! Big moment. And we're off. Picking up the pace then, as we head into the dry portion of this race, coming towards the end of lap five. We've managed to pull out a bit of a gap on Vettel, which is positive. I don't know what happened to Norris, I don't know where he is. But, uh, our gap to the yeah. car in front is 2.4 seconds. We're that leading our teammate double stack by 4.4 seconds. Did not work in his favour. Here we are then, into sector 2 on lap 7, and we are chasing down Sonoda. We've got DRS. I don't think we're quite close enough to make a move just yet, but he just leaves the door wide open, too busy battling with Leclerc. So we go through, up into P5. But he's coming back, well, it's not over yet, he's coming back. Round the outside, doesn't quite make it stick. Oh, look at that. We just just got the jump on him as we go after Charles who is our rival for this season so if we can beat him that's a good result today Stefan going fastest again Bottas going fastest again easy peasy easy DRS on Leclerc let's uh just make sure we hold it now. Five, six laps to go? Six laps to go. Here we are then, coming up to the end of lap nine. We've pulled out a decent There's gap. five laps of fuel remaining. On Leclerc, 3.7 seconds. Sonoda's also jumped him, although he's just pitted, so. Fastest lap of the race. That'll do. Okay, the incident has been cleared. Let's get back up to racing speed. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. On to the final lap then. We're not going to make it onto the podium today, but we are ahead of our championship rival. We take those, especially for a wet, a wet start to the race today. This is, uh, this is potentially a very good outcome for us.
Here we go then, up to the chequered flag. Max Verstappen takes the win, Bottas in second, but we are... All right, race over, take care of the car. Oh, that's a good result. It's a very good result, very, very happy with that. A great race then, and a fantastic victory here at Paul Ricard. Tell me, Ant, how do you think they were able to deliver such an incredible result today? I think that smart tyre management on track and very smooth driving definitely assisted in their victory today. That combination meant they got the absolute maximum out of their tyres at all times. The drivers are en route to the podium as we speak. What a fantastic win for the Red Bull team. They performed exceptionally today, keeping us firmly on the edge of our seats throughout the entirety of the race. Congratulations to everyone at the team. Good result then for us, P4. Verstappen, Perez and Bottas on the podium. Good points. Very, very happy. Max Verstappen should be pleased with his performance, making gains at the top of the table. So, Anthony Davidson, who would you rank as your driver of the day? My driver of the day has to be, no question, Antonio Giovinazzi. Such an assured drive from one of the sport's newer stars and a performance he can be very, very proud of. Let's move on to the constructors. Red Bull pull further ahead in the standings. There was also a strong showing from the Mercedes team today as they make their way up the standings. Well, and an end to another fantastic weekend of racing. Thanks to everyone who joined us, and we'll see you for the next one. There we go then. Lando didn't fare well there, did he? Down in P7. And we are down to fourth. Uh, sorry, we're up to sixth in the championship. Lando's down to fourth in the championship, so. Not ideal for him, but very, very good for us. And that rounds off the French Grand Prix for our driver career, season one. If you enjoyed the video today, please give us a like. Maybe hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you next time, where I think we're going to Canada. No, we did Canada last week. We're going to Austria next, I believe. So I'll see you then. Bye.